share of flux area tip day custom node node, the most accurate area prompt workflow I have used so far. This is his node day of custom node. I will introduce it in detail later. This way you can easily 100% control the position of these three objects on the screen. And accurately generate it. The point is that his success rate is almost 100% compared with previous regional prompts. This has the highest success rate. You can understand 100% easily. Every time these three things appear, they appear in the perfect position. I am using the online mirror of Joanna Kual. Don't want to deploy locally, just want to be online. If you want to use it directly, you can click on my mirror. I am using an online mirror. This way, you don't need to deploy. Because I have already deployed and installed. Click on the mirror. Click on this workflow. All my workflow is here. Everyone can use it. This needs to be updated to the latest version before it can be this installed. This workflow for precise area prompts does not need to be deployed and can be used online directly. If you want to deploy locally, you can click on my node. Click on Configure Tutorial. Click on the image category. The first one is Flux Precise Area Prompt. There is a node inside that needs attention. He needs to update Configure to the latest version to install successfully. Otherwise, the installation will not succeed. Then here is a simple screenshot introduction and workflow download. This is suitable for local deployment. I recommend using it directly online. Don't worry about which graphics card to use, local hardware and other issues. Open all my workflows with one click in the cloud, ready to use. Here are all my hundreds of workflows. All can be used directly online. No need to consider deployment and installation. OK, let me introduce this one. First, a brief introduction. Here he supports Vlux. Then, there is a little trick. The first clue, word. You need to describe the overall context. But don't describe the specifics. Details, for example, my bird and this character. No need to describe these. This is just a brief description. This is a realistic poster. Professional photography only. This describes his background. Then the background is the forest, sunshine and moss. So the first one describes his. Overall background. Then you click this option on the first one. He will choose the first word, covering the entire screen. This is to set its size. His size takes up the entire screen. Then you can set it to 768. The above is to set the size of this artboard. This is the size of the image you generated. So these two have to be consistent. The following is just to set the range of your area prompt because this is setting the background, so the whole screen takes up. The background does not need to be too heavy. Usually, 0.5 is this enough. This weight is different for each area. All these things change with this area. Then we can set the second. The third or fourth one is fine, can be infinitely superimposed. For example, I first increase the fourth. Then you add another one like this. To superimpose like this, if you reduce, then you are. Cut it and it won't cut. Never mind. Anyway, it can be increased infinitely. The second frame, you use this to select the second range. What do you want this area to contain? I'm writing about a woman's adventure in the forest. Then smile at the camera. OK, adjustment. This is. Just move this area left and right and up and down. 
The lower is the size setting. The size in this area. This is the same as the one above. The last one is to set the weight of this prompt, or This is more important. Then you adjust it to 0 0.95, generally no more than 1. Then follow the same approach as below. This is a man. Then his wife. Occupies a position on the screen. The last one to control is this bird. A flying eagle. Flying in the jungle. Then the location size. Control the weight. This is its basic setting. The key point is this wedge. E has a tip here. The weight setting is well controlled. This is very important. Then you can set the C to random. This is how it is generated. This has to be deleted. Delete useless. These can be increased. Here is a key point. Control its weight. Be careful not to repeat the prompt words. Otherwise, for example, when I describe, describe the these specific characters, then repeat. So the background does not need to show In details. In this way, he can control these three very accurately. The location of the content. For example, I am generating this area prompt. The advantage is that the success rate is almost 100%, like where it takes multiple times to get the position of this thing correct. Well, this thing is in the right place, it is very difficult to get all three correct. But his number is different. He is almost 100. Each time three objects are generated, and the location is correct. This is his advantage. Of course, this combination is not perfect. This requires a card draw. The advantage is that his success rate is very high. Let's generate the last one. Take a look at the effect. Then the hint word wait. Repeat the copy. Because the above is a traditional type. Below is the new version of the T5 prompt. This way, the positions of these three contents can be perfectly controlled. He is the strongest at the moment. Okay, later for this Let's episode. Let's go play.